Getting caught up in all the depressing details around this, consider the absurdity of the entire system. Diversity lottery? America isn't a game show or a mail-in sweepstakes, it's a country. And our government is supposed to represent the interests of the people in this country, its citizens. Instead, our leaders are treating America as a prize that can be won by anyone on the planet simply for existing. Why not sell diversity scratch-off tickets in convenience stores in Kinshasa or Kuala Lumpur? It's insane. The whole thing is insane. How do you know it's insane? Because the very liberals now defending the diversity lottery and calling you a bigot for raising questions about it would never in a million years practice a diversity lottery themselves. Would Harvard implement a diversity lottery for admissions? Of course it wouldn't. Harvard wants to be selective and only admit the best. It would never just pick 100 random applicants based on country of origin without bothering to check their grades or test scores. No way. Do you think Google or Facebook or MSNBC would hire with a diversity lottery? Just pick people at random without even reading their resumes? Please. Did President Obama hold a diversity lottery when he made judicial appointments? Does the military hold a lottery for promoting officers? No, 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 of course not. Because in all of those organizations, it's obvious that quality matters. You want to pick the best people and allow the greater organization to flourish. Somehow, though, and this is the most perverse part of all of this, the greatest organization of all, the United States, has decided that quality is irrelevant. Diversity has become an end.